Welcome to Classic Game Room, broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade. This is Corvette for the PlayStation 2, a racing game, and let's talk about what's in this game. In fact, let's talk about what's not in this game. A. Corvettes. B. Jim Kelly from Enter the Dragon. Or C. Flesh-eating dinosaurs. Cast your vote now. We've got Corvettes. We've also got Jim Kelly, or at least his pseudo-likeness, and we've, uh, no, nope, there's no flesh-eating dinosaurs. But there are nuclear missiles, which, if you believe the Godzilla movies, can at least help create flesh-eating dinosaurs. This game allows you to race the 1972 Corvette ZR-1 on an Air Force base filled with nuclear weapons and tanks. Corvette gets off to a good start right there. If that's not enough danger for you, how about racing some priceless Corvettes through a strip mine? Is Corvette cheesy? Yes, but it does something so many other racing games fail to do. It delivers the fun. Corvette is an arcade-style racing game released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2, which feels more like Crazy Taxi than Gran Turismo. It packs 50 years of Corvettes without a Dodge Viper or Ford Mustang in sight. It's as though GM endorsed this game, which is surprising that they chose the Corvette over the El Camino. Try hauling three alligator carcasses in a Corvette, then tell me which vehicle you prefer. One touch that I like is the cockpit view, which, which isn't really a cockpit view, it's more like bumper view, but it gives you a speedometer that represents the age of each vehicle. And obviously the best one is the 1980s Corvette because it looks like Knight Rider. Even though Kit was actually a Trans Am mixed with a 70s Cylon. Corvette is a surprisingly good budget-priced racing title on the PlayStation 2 that packs a ton of races. Spread throughout a career mode, arcade mode, quick races, special races, there's even two-player races. The track designs are fun and lively and totally match the driving style of the game, which is a lot like Crazy Taxi. Not a shred of realism in sight, but there are a lot of Corvettes. In the career mode, you pick a driver by choosing their ethnicity and sex, and I wasn't kidding about the Jim Kelly thing. There must have been a Jim Kelly fan on staff. The black driver is named Jim Kelly. Who's Jim Kelly, you may be asking? Well, he's the actor who played the very memorable and highly quotable Williams in the Bruce Lee movie Enter the Dragon as well as some other lesser-known 70s and 80s action films like Black Belt Jones, a movie you have to see, where the female lead was also one of the Bond girls in James Bond's Live and Let Die. That's right, the one with a young Jane Seymour. And Yafet Koto from Alien. I could go on forever. I think there's also a, a football player named Jim Kelly, but uh, since I don't know anything about football, I go back to what I do know about, which is awesome movies. And since Jim Kelly, the actor, was also in such great films as One Down, Two to Go with Jim Brown and the cheesy yet hilarious Hot Potato, you've got some movie watching to do. Anyway, you probably think this is all irrelevant, but uh, watch this. What else was Jane Seymour in? The 1979 pilot of Battlestar Galactica. And who else was in Battlestar Galactica? Face Man from the A-Team. And what car did the A-Team have in addition to their van? A Corvette. Everything comes full circle, back to the A-Team. Corvette is a fun racing game if you can find it for a couple bucks, which you should easily be able to do. Surprisingly, I actually found some good challenge in the game, although the opposing cars that you're racing have some pretty ridiculous AI. They seem to handle better, but your top speed is higher. Although simulation racing is not really what this game is going for. It's all about the Corvettes, and the fun. Actually, this would be a nice driving game for kids. It's really simple and very straightforward, and with some practice, you'll get through the races. 
There's also this Need for Speed style race in the career mode where you're being chased by a Corvette police car. What police force has the budget for a Corvette these days, seriously? Although I did just see an awesome Dodge Charger police car the other day, but this isn't Dodge Charger police car racing. It's Corvette for the PlayStation 2.